Hey, this is Sean from MoparEcoDiesel.com. Uh, tonight, I just wanted to shoot a quick video. People are kind of curious of how this truck does in the snow, how these eco diesels do, what their temperatures are, and stuff like that. So I'll go through it. Uh, this is my scan gauge. Um, so you can see I've got the heater on, so on defrost, so the air conditioner's on, the electric fan's on, so my gallons per hour is pretty high. Um, So let's see, got it in auto here. So you can see when the fa um, AC compressor kicks on, the uh, gallons per hour goes up pretty high. So you can see it's going down now. I got a lot of like electrical load on it. So you can see when you turn the lights off, that goes down. You see how it goes down a little bit. All right, so see now I'm in park, lights off, uh, 0.14 gallons per hour. So I'll turn the lights back on. You can see it goes up a little bit, not much. Turn the AC on automatic. Should start going back up, but uh, put it back in drive. See how the gas gallons per hour goes up. All right, so uh, that's my uh, cat temperature. That's my boost. That's how much loads on it. Um, let me go through the temperatures. All right, so that's my fuel mileage. Uh, I do have my trailer. The wind is blowing like crazy. It's cold as hell. It's snowing. Um, yeah, you should be able to see my trailer back there. All right, so my trailer's on. Uh, those are the temperatures. Or my mileage. Uh, that's my temperatures. All right, so you can see I've got it in two-wheel drive. It's in drive. These are all my settings. You can see my map. All right, so I'm in two-wheel drive. It's, it rained all day and then snowed. Uh, I-80 is closed, so I'm driving through Kimmer, bypassing I-80, which is the highway. All right, so you see I can accelerate no problem and two-wheel drive. Towing my trailer. She's fully loaded right now. And let me get back a little bit. So, yeah, there wasn't any wheel slippage or anything like that. Uh, my tires are the original tires. I got 46,000 miles on them. Uh, I got just barely under a quarter in half a mile. Uh, tread left. I did get them siped yesterday. Uh, I'm trying to get a little bit more life out of them, which really helped. Uh, but, yeah, I'm kind of making this video so people can see. I'm going up a really steep hill right now in two-wheel drive. It's not on automatic. Very very strong headwind Or I'll even drive drive over into the nasty stuff over here <laughs> So yeah, I've got my uh, Trailer on pulling this hill and you'd you would see my traction In control light feet, turn left onto US 30 bypass eastbound. All right, so I'm gonna get on the highway here now. This is all black ice. This is nasty and there's the oil fields hopefully you can see that because it looks kind of cool out there or the mine Turn left. all right yeah i-80's closed all right <laughs> there's a lot of snow out here so this is camera wyoming that's nasty out here snow and ice you wreck and out here and there's nobody to come and get you the tow trucks won't run until for one the highway's clear which they've closed up due to a, a bunch of accidents and then two they won't come out at night they wait till the morning so unless highway patrol calls them out so you wreck you're in trouble you gotta drive safe um 
All right, so driving from snow onto the black ice. Yeah, yay. So here I go. Yeah, now it's ice. <laughs> but I'm still in two-wheel drive. I do have automatic mode, which I have not used. Um, I used it once to test it and see if it worked, and it works really nice. But I'm fine. So yeah, those are my temperatures. She does really, really good. Um, the factory uh, grill shutters are fantastic. Uh, they work extremely well. They work so well that uh, regulating the temperature uh, when it's really cold while you're driving that um, I had to take off the grill guard that I put on the, um, the winter front because when I'm towing it would overheat. The temperatures get way too high. So it actually regulates itself perfectly well. I did try closing off the top only, the bottom only. Uh, it actually regulates itself really well. The only time that it has a problem is when you're idling for a long time, but it takes about two hours for the temperature to come down, uh, which isn't bad. So that's the only time you'd need a cover is if you got to idle in the under 15 degrees outside. Uh, otherwise, it's this is the best diesel I've ever been in anywhere that's been this good with temperature control. Uh, it's a lot like a gasoline vehicle, uh, except for when it comes to idling for extended periods of time under 15 degrees. So that's the only exception. But otherwise, um, this is kind of my little winter report. Uh, these are my settings, this is what happens. Now you can see I'm going into a regen mode right now. You see my exhaust temperature. My boost is really low, so you can see I'm only at 10 psi, and I did verify that. That is correct. So yeah, I'm hitting a active two regen. It's not an active three. See, there's no lights on. Uh, this is normal. I'm getting a lot more now that it's really cold, and I'm using a lot of diesel pee which kind of sucks, but uh, that's what happens. Uh, when I drive around town like that and then you get on the highway, um, it'll get up to about 1200. All right, so it's done. So um, since I've installed my catch can, I get asked a lot about my regens, and that's really cool to show how quickly it happened. My regens used to take about 45 miles to clear. So from about Lyman to almost to Green River, I would be at 1,200 degrees on the highway that whole time, uh, which is about 45 miles. And that would happen every single night. And then when I got my catch can, my separator uh, perfected, the one that I have on there now, regens are really, really quick. They, they just don't take very long. So, oh, now we're back up to 12, 1,300 degrees. Oh should come down here in a second oh, look outside I hope you guys can see this really well what it looks like it's freaking nasty out there okay well, it shouldn't take too long normally runs for about five minutes. So that's that's my run. That's what I do. But it's getting kind of scary. Uh, this is some slick stuff. So, all right. Well, I'll see you in my next video. All right. So this is a really quick addendum to that video. So this is my screen here. This is my re uh, conditions. 
So this storm front right here, this was mostly dark blue. The light is light snow. The dark blue is uh, really, really bad heavy snow. Uh, this was all dark blue in the center, and it moved from Salt Lake up through, and that's what I drove through. So I drove up through here and from Salt Lake, which is down there. You can see my house. Drove up and then down to where I'm at now. So I'm right in between fronts. So I'm going to do a little walk around. This front is moving this way. Uh, the road was closed all night, but um, I'm kind of go out. So this is my weather map. This is something that I really like. It's really cool. It helps me out on the road. And you see all that storm front is going to be my way here pretty quick. But after driving in uh, these kind of conditions, I'll show you what uh, what it's like. Uh, yeah, I'm still in two-wheel drive. Got my radio there. I'm going to get out and show you what my truck and trailer look like. Um, so I've been driving for non-stop for almost three hours since I got gas. And uh, I got 21.8 miles per gallon. Average miles per hour is 37, 108 miles. So that's my towing miles. Uh, that's my temperatures. Let me show you them. So that's my temperatures. That's what she does. So in this kind of condition, you know, this is... I'm going to get out and just walk around. So you can see what it looks like when your truck is driving through ice and snow and nasty stuff. Look at that. Look at that, dude. The, the snow is touching the tire. Oh my god. Look at a flashlight. I hope this picks it up. Look at that. So you can see that's what I do. This is my job. I do it every night. This stuff has to go. This freight has to roll. So that's a quick glimpse of my route. That's what I do. And uh, got to get to work now. All right. So I found a better source of light. So I'm going to get out and do a little walk around. Let's see what the fuel fil filter looks like. Oh man, I don't want to change that. Oh wow. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is a, the outline of a storm that I'm going to have to drive through to get back home. And if you look up, you can see the edge of those clouds, like you saw on the satellite. And those clouds over there, that's the snow, and i got to drive through that to get home. So as long as nobody wrecks again, I can get through the highway. But this is Lyman. This is the better side, because all the snow blows away. Uh, but that's my truck there. You see the outside temperature, my fuel mileage. Uh, yeah, it's been eight hours and 11 minutes since I've turned my truck off. It's been, well, I haven't turned it off all night, but I, that's how long it was when I got gas at 11 o'clock. So, yeah, this is my town. This is, uh, this is what it looks like in the daytime. So, not all that snow. So, yeah, I'm still in two wheel drive. So, she does good. The traction control is really nice on this truck with bald tires. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting ready to replace them. So, yeah, that's where I gotta go. So this is my route. 